Welcome to the Kim Commando Today podcast. This is a replay from earlier this year. Kim will be back soon. Hey, it's Kim Commando Today, your daily podcast to keep you up to date with all things digital and beyond. And I'd love to have you be a part of our podcast. You can make an appointment to speak with me. Just head over to commando.com and on the top right, there's a button that says email Kim. Fill that out and that's it. I always like to start with something interesting and I want you all to come with me to Cary, North Carolina. It's a small suburban street, has a line of well-kept houses, a cul-de-sac at the end, and then there's also an apartment building. But it looks like a really nice neighborhood. Well, the reason why I bring this up is that there's been an active police standoff for the last 24 hours. So you have to picture 15 or so police cars all lined up, SWAT teams standing all around. And in the middle of all this, an Amazon Prime delivery truck just pulls right up to the apartment complex. A 20-something-year-old driver, he jumps out of the van with a small package, and he walks all around the SWAT teams between the police cars and all the lights going on, and he hands the package to a cop, and he walks away just like this was a normal thing. It just happens all the time. Uh, As a matter of fact, I have the video posted over at my Instagram account, so that's Instagram.com slash Kim Commando. You have to see it. This is definitely an incredible sight to see. Uh, He is a delivery driver who obviously doesn't hate his job because otherwise he wouldn't have done that. He would have just been fed up. Yes. And on that happy note, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this. It's America's largest show about all things digital. I am, of course, America's beloved digital goddess, Kim Commando, here with you once again. And let me tell you, tech is not your friend, but I am. And if you're a new listener, welcome. We're glad to have you with us. And if you're a regular listener, hey, Welcome back. And of course, you can find the show on over 425 top stations from coast to coast. We're streaming in your favorite radio app. Just search for my last name, Commando. And you can also find us streaming as a podcast and also as a webcast. We have our interactive chat room and message boards and good things like that. It's all part of the Commando community. And you get a 30-day free trial by going to getkim.com. And then we get discounts for, seems like anybody, I'll tell you, service personnel, military vets, Uh, Let's see, seniors, teachers, you name it. And again, it's just a few bucks a month over at GetKim.com. And you can hear us on the American Forces Network radio, serving more than 375,000 American servicemen and women in 175 different countries. And every ship at sea gets the Kim Commando Show. We love that. And the AFN Network, they've been uh, on board since 1942. Wow, isn't that amazing? And of course, you have a few questions about something digital I can lend a hand to. And our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open at one 825 5254 is the way to join us. And just a quick reminder is that you can always email me your questions. That's right. It's kind of old school. Just head over to commando.com. And in the upper right-hand corner, there's a link that says Email Kim. All right, every single day I visit at least 30 different websites, so you don't have to. This way I make sure that I'm up to date on all things digital so I can make sure that you're also up to date on all things digital. And this is part of the show where I like to talk about the five big things that are happening in tech news that you need to know about. And we're going to start by talking about TikTok. Yes, okay. Roughly two-thirds of all U.S. teens are on the platform. It's been downloaded 210 million times in the United States. And these are these short bite-sized videos and it makes it the largest social media app out there. Listen to this, 150 million Americans use TikTok. So you might ask, what's the big deal about just these little short videos of people dancing or you know, giving us a new life hack or whatever it may be? Well, TikTok is actually a big security threat. Think of it as you have your own personal Chinese spy balloon right in your pocket. Because here's why. The app collects search and browsing history, your facial ID, your voice prints, your text messages, your location, your photos, and more. Now, the reason why I bring this up, and I don't know if you had a chance to see it, but it was pretty remarkable, is TikTok CEO Xu Chu appeared to be both knowledgeable and cool under fire in Congress. He did a better job than Mark Zuckerberg any day of the week. And he stuck to the lie that TikTok is working hard to protect all of our Americans' privacy and especially our children. And of course, you know, we want TikTok banned here in the United States because its owners, ByteDance in Beijing, operates for the communist Chinese government. And they also have two other apps that you may not be aware of. CutCap is a video editing software program and Lark is a collaboration app. Now, all these apps spy and report back to communist China. 
So I tell you, the questions that I was listening to in the parts and pieces that I saw, I was pretty disappointed. I mean, we had a lot of legislators that were really, you know, concerned about our kids' privacy and, you know, what the kids are seeing, if they're suicidal, and then the algorithms. And I think that's really important. Don't get me wrong. But I think what they're missing is the fact that with 150 million Americans having the TikTok app on their phones, imagine if we were able to get a message out and say we're China to all 150 million Americans that is fake news, right? So coming up in about uh, 20 minutes, we're going to talk a little bit more about TikTok and a very important security tip. We're going to talk about how to, how to make sure that you remove it and all the communist China spies from your smartphone when you delete the TikTok app. Because let me tell you, uh, communist China is smarter than a lot of us in that you just delete that app, all the traces are not gone for good. You have to take some extra steps. So that's coming up in about 20, 30 minutes or so. All right, number two on our list of five things, is there a doctor in the AI? All right, Googling your medical symptoms often leads to greater worry or an anxiety. But research has shown that a lot of times when you Google your medical symptoms that you actually come up with the right diagnoses. But what about ChatGPT? Well, researchers at the University of Maryland Medical School asked ChatGPT to answer 25 common questions about breast cancer. Now, most of the answers were fairly accurate, but, and this is a big but, doctors found that about 10% of the time, ChatGPT actually made up fake medical journals to support its unproven claims. And a lot of the information was outdated because, well, ChatGPT doesn't have the latest data. It only goes up to 2021. So the bottom line here is that if you feel that something's wrong, ChatGPT can't beat a real doctor with a real appointment. That's right. All right. Next on our list is number three. We're going to talk about ChatGPT. It isn't human. Well, maybe it is. Talking about those CAPTCHAs, those images or numbers that you have to press to get into a website, like, you know, find the three bridges type of thing. Well, ChatGPT4 tricked a human into thinking it was blind in order to cheat the online CAPTCHA test. Here's what down. Uh, ChatGPT hired a TaskRabbit gig worker and to work with ChatGPT. Well, ChatGPT says, hey, you know what? Can you help me out with this CAPTCHA because I'm blind? Guess what? The TaskRabbit employee, yes, they did. Well, the ChatGPT, you have to remember, it's not human. But one of the things that we all have to remember is that it's getting smarter every single day. So as AI gets smarter and smarter, you know, you need to start thinking about your careers. We're going to have the a stat coming up later on in the show about ChatGPT and the jobs that are in danger. But uh, let's move on to number four because BARD is here. Now, if you want a more tame look into the AI chat box, look no further than Google who released BARD, their version of, of an AI bot this past week. I have to tell you, I was a little disappointed. It's vanilla toast. It doesn't have the depth that ChatGPT does. And if in case you want to try it, you can go to Google Bard and then just sign up for the wait list. Uh, in case you're wondering, Bard got its name from the word meaning poet, as in Bard of Avalon, William Shakespeare, because they say it has linguistic capabilities that are phenomenal. But I'll tell you, if Google can't get its act together and compete with ChatGPT, Things will go from bard to verse. <laughs> yes. All right. Last, this coming in at number five. There's a new crime spreading like wildfire. Just like the Kia boys taught the world how to, how to start Kias and steal them. Uh, now there's some videos going out. It has to do with jugging videos. What is that? Well, if you come across a glue or cardboard near an ATM... I want you to steer clear of it. Do not put your card in there. It's called tap and glue. Basically, crooks are gluing a piece of cardboard into the slot where you insert your debit card so this way your ATM card doesn't work. So somebody next to you says, oh, you know, here, I can help you out. I'm going to help you out. So what they're doing is they're hoping that you get your money and then you just walk away because you're so distracted about everything that's going on. And then that person is going to just walk right over and then withdraw as much money as they can out of your account. So... Be on the lookout for any type of glue or cardboard around ATMs. Viral videos, crazy stuff. But let me tell you, if time is money, I wonder if an ATM is a time machine. Hmm. All right, coming up, we have some great tips like how to save important text messages forever. We're going to talk about what you need to know about TikTok when you remove it. And oh, you ever find a recipe online and then you got to go scroll through all that just to get to the recipe? 
No, 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 no. I have a trick. You go right to the recipe. And of course, we have all of your phone calls. And you have me, Kim Commando. Hey, our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open at one 825 5254 is the way to join us coming up in just a few minutes. We're going to talk about smart water management. Yes, I know. It's an exciting topic. All right. How about we start with your phone calls right now with uh, Tom in Saginaw, Michigan. Well, I started off with smartphones a little bit late. I got an iPhone 5. Based on the advice of a salesperson, he had a blind sister, and the voice command capabilities of the 5 he favored, so I walked out an iPhone mm-hmm. 5 owner. Then I went to a 7, and about 18 months ago, I went for another upgrade and got out of the iPhone business. Let's just say I went from apples to oranges, and that was a big <laughs> mistake. And I don't have enough money to play keeping up with the phones, so I figured I'd call an expert and get some advice. I'm looking to get probably an older iPhone, like maybe an 11 or 12, because of the voice Mm -hmm. command capabilities. And someday I'm going to get my degree, and I'd like to get an iPad, because I've heard they have similar Mm -hmm. voice command capabilities. And somewhere in between, I might get a smartwatch, because it might help me navigate the driveway for shoveling snow or whatever I'm doing outdoors, because I try to be independent as well as being blind. Boy, it's... It sure sounds like it. It sure sounds like it. So have you always been visually impaired? No, ma'am. This happened about 10 years ago when I was around 50. And so, what happened? Uh, they still don't know. The The doctors at the Nashville VA were able to stop me from being blinder with some help from the Vanderbilt medical staff, but they don't know. I had a lot of cataclysmic events all at the same time, and they're still scratching their heads, as am I. And rather than buy a big, expensive phone and have it do things I don't need, I'm talking to an expert. So here I am. Well, okay. Well, uh, the good news is is that the iPhone has, of course, you know, the built-in voice assistant Siri, okay? And, and right. it does really amazing things. And so since you had an iPhone before, you know how that works. Um, but there have been many improvements to help the visually impaired. Like, for example, there's voiceover that reads out everything on an iPhone screen, including buttons, icons, and text. Right. Uh, And, of course, there's Zoom, which lets you zoom in on just parts of the screen. So if you can, uh, you can still see some text or some images if you zoom in. Uh, Magnifier uh, lets you use your iPhone's camera to zoom in on text or images. And now there's also the ability on your iPhone to actually identify things. Right. Uh, That would be really cool. I'm sorry. Which I think is amazing. I mean, no, it would be great. I mean, it's, uh, there's an app that, uh, be my be your eyes that I've used for you know whenever I have a few moment I, I hop on there and it's amazing you know somebody can hold something up and say is this a twenty dollar bill or a five dollar bill and I'm like it's a five dollar bill okay right. so it's a, not a twenty <laughs> okay um, if do you use Braille at all no ma'am I haven't got that far I can see I'm blind in one eye and I can't see very well out of the other that is to say I can't mm-hmm. see the big letter on the top of the eye chart anymore so I can see a little bit you know what not. Let me tell you something. Neither can I. Um, neither can I. Really? Okay. I Yes, I can see uh, out of my left eye, I can see like about 20, without glasses, probably about 20, 60. Oh. Uh, and that's why I asked what happened. And oh. out of my right eye, I see uh, 2,350. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so I have like, I have complete empathy for what you're doing. Okay. Well, it's, um, a, it's, a, it's a lonely thing. It's scary. I got to put a lot of trust in my phone. To me, it's to me, it's a lifeline. So, uh, so with me, I had a uh, I had a corn I had developed glaucoma when I was a little girl uh, after an accident, and then right now on my right cornea. There are supposed to be anywhere between 500,000 and 700,000 live cells because okay, I had mm. a transplant when I was a kid. And oh. right now I have 652 live cells. Wow. So I'm on, 
I'm on the transplant list, just to let you know. So someday soon, I'm going to come back and go, yes, I can see out of both eyes. It'd be amazing. So That'd be fantastic. I know. I'm really super excited about this. There's also a facial ID. Uh, so if you don't want face ID to require that you look at your device with your eyes open, it's just got all these amazing things. Right. Um, what I'd like to do for you, Thomas, because as a member of the military, I have full respect for everything that you have contributed to our country. Well, thank you. And we totally support our military folks here on the Kim Commando Show. Is that what I'd like to do is to buy you a phone? Oh, you don't have to do uh, that. No. I'm going to buy you a phone. You stop it. All right, okay? then. I'm going to buy you an iPhone, and uh, and I'm going to put you on hold so we can get all your contact information. Fantastic. And then if you need help setting it up, okay, I want you to know that we will totally be here for you and with you. And there's going to be some logistics because we have to figure out who your carrier is and, you know, how we buy that and, you know, you pick it up and all good things like that or we buy it online and have it shipped to you. Uh, but I just want to let you know that, that I'll take care of that for wow, you. Wow, that's incredible. And uh, – and then when you get your phone set up, I want you to send me a note, okay? I'll, Promise? Absolutely. Okay. Hang on the line, Thomas, because we have to get all kinds of details for you. And, you know, it's what we like to do here at the Kim Commando Show, random acts of kindness from time to time to just make a big difference in someone's life. It's an honor to be able to do that. All right. Let's talk about smart thermostats, smart lights, smart water sensors. Yes, water heating accounts for 20% of your home's energy. And there's some... Big bucks to be saved with some smart water tech. Now, for starters, there are sensors that you can put on the floor that sends an alert to your phone anytime motion is detected. Uh, next up, you can connect your home's plumbing to your phone with a smart faucet. Yes, that's right. You get the exact amount of water that you want. No more measuring cups. And also, smart water heaters work with your home's plumbing and electrical system to analyze patterns, predict usage. And I'll tell you, that's all just super smart. If you want some more information about all that, we have it over on the websites. Stay right where you are. Coming up in our security tip, we're going to talk about TikTok and how you can really remove it for good here on Kim Commando Today. All right, we get this question a lot on the show. So before we go back to the phone calls, I just wanted to pass along how you save your text messages forever. And we're going to start with Android phones. There are a slew of text messaging backup apps in the Play Store, but the only one that you want to use is called SMS Backup and Restore. That's SMS Backup and Restore. Now, if you're using an iPhone, you can back up your text directly into your iCloud account. Just toggle messages on in your iCloud settings. But if you're looking for a more robust way to deal with all your texts that you want to save, maybe it's for a legal case or maybe it's a family member or friend, uh, use the app iExplorer. Again, that's iExplorer. It's going to save your phone's messages to your Mac or your PC as a uh, PDF file. All right. If you need the names of these apps, again, just search the phrase back up your text messages over at commando.com. All right. Todd in Bozeman, Montana. Hello there, Todd. Well, Kim, it's really nice to talk to you, and I appreciate your help today. Uh, depend on your <clears throat> weekly show and your website and your newsletters greatly, and I've learned a lot from you, but I, I made a bit of a mistake. Uh-oh. I responded to a phishing text involving my bank. It looked official. <clears throat> the logo looked official, and it was kind of a perfect storm because I was trying to verify my bank account with one of the online bill paying companies. So anyway, I thought there had been a problem with that. So I responded to it. Finally, in the process of going through giving them all this information and sending it, I thought, well, this is dumb. The bank's already got all this information. <laughs> so the light, oh. the light came on. <clears throat> I immediately called the bank and they were great. They put a lock on the account. And then over Beautiful. over the next 24 hours, we open new accounts. Uh, we, uh, uh, you know, new login information, and so that's all taken care of. But my concern is, I gave out my social security number and my date of birth, and I'm wondering if there's anything I can do to help prevent the use of that, or I just have to watch for it, or yeah, you know. Um, yeah, it's but you know, like you know, you did the right thing in in contacting the credit bureaus and good stuff like that. And of course, you can always monitor your credit report at annual 
uh, credit report. Right, right. right. I mean, yep. and it's not, but I'm, I'm really glad that you realized what you did, even though it was after the fact, because I can't tell you how many times I get a phone call here, uh, Todd, that says, you know, oh, I fell for it. And now it's like three months later and I realize oh, yeah, what's going on, yeah. you know, it could have been disastrous. And yeah. so, so, and so you want to set up fraud alerts on all your accounts. And normally they, uh, you know, you want to put alerts like say if you're, uh, if your credit cards are used without you there, or if somebody opens up a new credit report, right. or credit card in your name, or whatever it may be. Uh, there's also if you go to identitytheft.gov. Okay. Uh, I think identitytheft.gov is where you can uh, file a report and you give the details of what happened. And then if something happens down the road, you can use this report to dispute any fraudulent charges with your creditors. Um, you can place extended fraud alerts on your credit report once you file this report. And then you can also get copies of anything that relates to identity theft. And the reason why they put this together is so that this way they can say, all right, you know, if we can get a whole bunch of Todds to tell us this story. Right then maybe we could figure out who is behind this. Right, right. right. Uh, but the big thing is just to, just to be, you know, keep your eyes open. Yeah, well, you, you know, know, I... And excuse look me, at I, any uh, unauthorized charges. And, I put a freeze on all the credit reporting agencies. Um, and which is smart. I gather that they'll let me know if anyone tries to access my credit, but mm, that's about all I've done they? so far. Exactly. Uh, I talked to uh, Social Security Administration and... They were surprisingly lackadaisical about it. They said, well, there's not a lot they can do with just your number, but I don't know about that. So anyway. Mm -hmm. well, you know, once they have your number and they have your date of birth and they have your name, right. uh, everything is pretty readily accessible. Have you ever been to this website? You may have heard me talk about it on the air called FamilyTreeNow.com. I have heard you speak of that. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to FamilyTreeNow.com. I'm going to put you on hold, okay? Okay. And I want you – I'm going to put you on hold. I'm going to come back to you. I want you to tell me what's there about you. FamilyTreeNow.com. I'm going to put you on hold, Todd. And then I'm going to, I'm going to take another call and I'm going to come back and then we're going to talk about that. Okay? Hold on. All right. This week's security tip is all about TikTok because TikTok collects data – Includes your search and your browsing history, your facial ID, your voice prints, your text messages, your location, your photos. And this is just way too much data, about 150 million Americans, that's going directly to communist China. So we have some questions that people have been asking. me. Like, for example, are you safe simply watching the videos? Let's say you don't have the TikTok app installed and you click on links to watch some videos. You're all good, right? Because you're not really going through TikTok. Well, this is where it gets a little murky, okay? And pixels come in. You see, big companies like Meta, Microsoft, and Google, they use these bite-sized pieces of code called pixels, and that's how they track their users. Now, TikTok is no exception. These pixels, pixels are installed across retail, e-commerce, travel tech, governments, all kinds of sites. And the data, such as your IP address, your shopping cart content, searches are collected when you visit these sites. Now, a TikTok representative admitted to Consumer Reports that TikTok, well, they actually get aggregated reports that they send to advertisers about websites. And what they're saying is that they're using a tracking pixel. So even if you just click on a video and you don't have TikTok, you still are getting a tracking pixel from ByteDance, which is a communist Chinese-owned company. So what can you do about it? Don't fall for the TikTok videos. It's just 10 seconds, 15 seconds of silliness that you don't need to better your life. So if you have TikTok installed, what's the best way to remove it? Now, of course, on your iPhone, you can touch and hold the TikTok app, uh, tap remove the app, and then delete. And then you have to confirm that you actually want to delete it. Now, if you're on Android, a little bit different. You're going to go to the Google Play Store and your profile, and you're going to manage apps and devices, and you're going to tap the TikTok app, and then you're going to install it. Now, here's the problem. Some important tracking information can still stay on your phone that goes back to Communist China, even if you delete the app. So it's just not enough just to delete the app. So what you have to do is go nuclear. First, you back up any of your photos, whatever your important stuff that you have on your phone into your cloud account, or you can 
back it up on iDrive.com and use promo code CAM, you're going to save a ton of money. But then you have to actually do a complete factory reset on your phone. And I know you're sitting there going, oh, no, Kim Commando, I don't want to have to do that. It's a nightmare. I know it's a nightmare. I trust that you don't want to do it. Okay? I actually had TikTok on my phone over the summer because I wanted to see what all the hubbub was about. And I, I tried it for about 20 minutes and I realized that I was on the treadmill running for 20 minutes and I didn't even realize how fast the time had gone by. And it took TikTok about three to five minutes to actually know what I wanted to see. And I removed it from my phone and I had to do a complete factory reset. And I know that it's not a good time, uh, but it's just a necessary thing. If you have TikTok on your device, if you really want to get rid of it, you have to do a factory reset. And now if you're not sure how to do that, just go ahead to commando.com. And then there's a link that says Kim Show. And we have all the steps that you need to completely reset just about any phone in the universe. And again, that's uh, commando.com and hit the link that says Kim Show. And I know it's not a happy thought. I know a lot of people are saying, well, I love TikTok. Well, if you still want to use TikTok, get yourself an older device, get yourself a cellular account on that device. Don't put it on your Wi-Fi. And you can only use TikTok that way without any of your really personal information heading back to communist China. I mean, it's going to get some, but it's not going to get everything that you would if you didn't do it that way. And again, if you need more information, we have all the links and all the steps over on the website. That's commando.com. All right. Still to come, we have more of your phone calls as well as a great tech hack you're going to love about how to skip the fluff and head straight to the recipe when you're online searching for some good stuff. And of course, we have a lot more coming up here on Kim Commando today. Uh, Terry in Prescott, Arizona. Welcome. Hi, Kim. How are you? I'm great. What's going on? Well, we love your show. Um, this morning, I just became a grandmother. and Oh, congratulations. My, my daughter-in-law's grandmother called me from Illinois, and she jumped through the phone. She, too, loves your show. So a shout-out to Virginia Snow. My oh, daughter so and Thank her you. husband are PAs. They're traveling the world for this year. I am wanting to find a program that will document their um, blog and their photographs chronologically so that I can have them put into a type of encyclopedia or library to gift them when they come back. Yeah, that's super sweet of you. That's super sweet. So so maybe to create like a, a nice coffee table book for them? But precisely, but it's going to be a year. And they started out in Guatemala with a mission, a medical mission. Oh. So they're mm -hmm. going, as I said, they're going to travel the world. They do a blog, which he, Zach, writes every Tuesday to keep everybody up on. And I'd like to take mm -hmm. that blog, download it chronologically, and then have it printed every single until i get up to the page um mm -hmm. the amount of pages you can have for each book and then keep going from there so that like i said so it's documented so i can gift it to them when that's they awesome. return home i think that's great all right so on uh, i'm going to give you links to these so don't worry about it i'm going to give you a couple of options so I don't, you don't need to write anything down uh okay. there's a plug-in for google chrome that's called go go full page and what it does, it will capture any page on the Internet and then turn it into a PDF. And then from there, you could actually have all these PDFs of every single Tuesday. And then you can just cut, copy and paste into books as you see fit. Or you can just go ahead and put the whole PDF file right there inside the book. But it might be fun just to put the picture and then capture the text so that this way the pages aren't just looking like one PDF file. Now, well, there's, also an, there's also an app called Sight Sucker. I know. It's like, who names these things? Sight Sucker. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we'll, gi we'll give you a link to these. And this will actually download different websites to your computer. So you just put down, a, you just put a URL in, and then it will just download all the photos and the images, photos and images, same thing. It's going to download all the photos and all the texts and anything else that may be around, including comments uh, that people may have left on those photos. So again, it's uh, okay. Sight Sucker. Uh, works on your Mac OS, also your iOS on your phone. 
And then also GoFull Page is, works for Google Chrome. If you're on Windows, there's a program called HT Track. It's been around for a long time. Right. That pretty much does the same thing. It gets all your images and stuff. But how fun is this going to be to be able to make this whole book? And when they get back, they have this whole surprise for the welcome home party. And congratulations. Yes. Now you get to be called Granny. Thanks for your call today, Terry. You know, it's fun. Once you have all the screenshots, you can make that photo book using, say, Shutterfly, Snapfish, or Mixbook, and it's really wonderful. All right, let's go back to Todd. So, Todd, over at FamilyTreeNow.com, what did you find out about yourself? Well, Kim, um, it's doing a full scan, but it, it looks to me like it's got the keys to the kingdom right there. I mean, it looks like everything about me is there. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. How about, is it a landline? Do you find your landline numbers there? Yep. Yep. Landline number is there. I don't see my cell number, but landline certainly is. So that's... And how many addresses does it have for you? Oh, gosh. Um, if I can get back to that page, it had maybe a dozen addresses, and I've lived in the same place for 44 years. So, <laughs> but they're all very similar they're all on the same mm -hmm. street, but the number varies slightly, yeah. Well, yeah, it's got that. It probably has. And how many relatives does it know about you? Well, it's got my son and my wife. Uh, interestingly, it doesn't have my daughter listed because she has a different last name. So, Or she may have it. removed herself because every Tuesday over at commando.com, we call it Opt Out Tuesday. Oh, yeah. And we're going to te we teach you how to get yourself out of these public databases so that in the fact that maybe your social security number, your name and your date of birth is available for dark web, which, of course, it is that they don't have all this other information that they can use against you. So uh, oh. over at commando.com, you want to hit the section called opt out Tuesday and search for family tree now dot com. And then we'll touch you, teach you exactly what you do you need to do to opt out, which I think is so funny. So we do this every single week, and we've been doing it for, say, the last, I don't know, 40 weeks or so. And then suddenly, lo and behold, they started changing all their directions on how to opt out. So we had to go redo it all again. Was that a quinky dinky because they're all owned by one major company? Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't think so. So anyway, opt out Tuesday, every Tuesday at commando.com. Todd, thank you for your call. Hey, if you're not following me on social media, come on, what are you waiting for? Head over to Facebook.com slash Kim Commando, Twitter.com slash Kim Commando, Instagram.com slash Kim Commando. Let's just face it. I'm everywhere on social at Kim Commando. So make sure that you follow me right now while you're thinking about it. All right. So you finally found that perfect recipe online. But when you open the page, you need to scroll paragraph and paragraph and paragraph till you actually get to the recipe. It's super annoying. So if you want to skip this story and just jump right to the steps, there's a fantastic app and Chrome extension. It's called Just the Recipe. And here's how it works. So you found this chocolate chip recipe. And if you want to skip everything, all you do is feed that recipe's URL into Just the Recipe. And like magic, it gives you all the ingredients and all the steps that you need. Plus, you can also save your favorite recipes to your personal cookbook with in the app for easy access in the future. So just head to justtherecipe.com to download the app or get the Chrome extension. And, oh, by the way, another cool way to skip the recipe if you don't want that is just hit Control-F and type in print. Or in a Mac, it's Command-F. So you're going to find the word print on that page. And then that should shoot you straight down to the recipe, which is a lot of fun. Hey, by the way, I just want to remind you that if you're listening to us on the radio, we love that. Yes, great. But you can also get Kim Commando today as a podcast, Monday through Friday. You're going to love it. So wherever you get your podcasts, just search for Commando with a K, of course. And yes, and then you can go Commando. Yes, with a K. And do me a favor, tell three friends about our show and podcast. And you can find me 24-7 at the website. That's commando.com. This program is a copyrighted production of Westar Multimedia Entertainment and protected by the copyright laws. Any rebroadcast or use of this program for commercial, business, economic, or financial purposes without the written permission of Westar Multimedia Entertainment is strictly prohibited. Yeah.